we still continue on the first beast. Don't forget that beast symbolizes political, economical, social, and cultural antichrist. Okay, then we we have designated it as Illuminati and Freemason, the powerful group. Okay, that group possesses how many heads? Seven heads. I have I've given you list of seven heads. All those seven heads are under the control of Illuminati and Freemason, including that atheistic communism. Okay, so Russian powers, Chinese powers are all under the influence of Illuminati and Freemason today. Now, we will go later, we will study more on that, but now I try to give you the overall uh, overview. Okay? Now, here, not only seven heads, but also ten horns. Ten horns. Now, what the ten horns represent? That would represent in terms of uh, the way of interpretations. There are various ways of interpretations, but uh, typically there are two typical uh, interpretations. Okay? Now, first interpretation is this. Horn, horn represents power. Okay? With that considerations, here, there are 10 world economic power groups uh, in existence today. Okay? So they, people, many Christian people, interpret those main 10 economic power groups would be Ten horns. Okay? So now, you know what those are? So now we'll give you this. EU. EU is what? European Union. Okay? You just write down. Before, or you consult with your, your website and you can see uh, full, full title there. European Union. And number two is ASEAN. You know what ASEAN means? Association of Southeast huh? East Asian huh? Nations. Right there. That's a, like Myanmar, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia. Southeastern country, see, and I have listed here. Okay, you know the Southeastern Asians. Okay, those are Philippines, Malaysia, all these associations. Now, it's a, number three, S A A R C. So I just found that out that that the South is South. Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. Let me repeat again. South Asian Association for Regional Cooperations. If South Asian means a leader of the South Asian country often uh, refers to India. You know, India and Sri Lanka and Bangladesh 
and Nepal, Bhutan, all those countries. Okay? Now, they are grouping here. Now, and number four grouping is the BIM stack. You see, this is a, a little bit difficult for you. Now, it's a, I just copy it down here. Bay of, Bay of Bengal. Okay, in your country. Okay? Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral technical and economic corporations. It's very long. You don't have to copy down here. Those countries involved here, Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Nepal. They are grouping together. Okay. Now, this is number four here. Number five is a BRICS. This is well known. It's a, it's a newly developing country. It's Brazil, Russia, India, I, China, and South Africa. We call it five BRICS countries. They got together. Let me repeat again. Brazil, Russia, India, C stands for China, and H stands for South Africa. That's a number five. Now, number six is NAFTA. NAFTA is very famous. North American, North American means Mexico, USA, Canada, three countries. NAFTA, North America, Free Trade Agreement. A stands for agreement. North American Free Trade Agreement. Free trade means they don't impose tax among themselves. We call it NAFTA. Uh, now, and number seven is LAFTA. This is a Latin American Free Trade Agreement. All those Latin American countries, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, Cuba, Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, Bolivia, Venezuela. You just in all those names are familiar with you. Okay? All this. Lefta. Nefta and Lefta. Then here. AFC Puta. A is African, African Sea, African Continental Free Trade Area. It's not agreement, area. African AF, Continental Free Trade Area. African people get together. Another major power. And number nine, this is not... It's upcoming now. That's uh, Europe. E means Europe. Europe. Oceania. Oceania means Australia, New Zealand. Okay. Europe. Oceania Free Trade Agreement. Now, number 10. Greater Arab. Free Trade Agreement. Greater, in other words, all Arab countries get together, okay, having their own free trade agreement. So, here, these 10 grouping economic powers would represent 10 horns, okay? That is their interpretations. But 
it used to be very traditional uh, interpretations, but I kind of, uh, I am suspicious. I am not happy with that interpretations. It may be part of that, but I have designed new, my own understandings and interpretations over there. Okay? Let's see here. My own understanding is this. It's a political, financial power, uh, maybe cultural, social as well, but now here, mainly, there are 10, 10 political and financial power controlled by Illuminati group and Freemason group today. They are the really key power groups controlling our daily lives. Yeah, we are in the hands of their control. Now, first powerful financial group, what here? Federal Reserve Board. We call it FRB. FRB. They are the one controlling Entire currency, especially the dollar. You see, U.S. dollar is not controlled by U.S. government. This is uh, Illuminati's private financial board, which controls entire flow of U.S. dollars. Federal Reserve Board. They even determine interest rate, the volume of uh, uh, currency flows all over. They are the ones controlling all remaining nines. Very powerful organization. Many often uh, misunderstand that FRB is part of American banking institutions which is not. It's not owned by American government. You study in your uh, further in your uh, you know, handphone, you see all information there. Okay? I just want to give you some guideline. Now, second powerful political group is called Council on Foreign Relations. We call it CFR. That council consists of major political power people, financial power people, all the influential people uh, under the guidance of the Illuminati and Freemason are committee members who decide future events to come and controlling every country's financial and political and social circumstances and all everything under their control. This is uh, what we call it a secret uh, hidden state. Okay, they are the main power groups right here, federal Reserve Board and Council on Foreign Relations. They're all, everybody almost who are familiar with this knows they are under the influence of Illuminati. They are not only the influence, but they are part of the Illuminati organizations. That's the first beast, along with Freemason. It's a member of Freemasons, the member of Illuminati, it's all. Most of them, the key influential members involved in this, in this uh, organizations. And also, elite groups. There are many, but the typical, these two groups here, Bohemian Club and Bindelberg Club. These two groups are, all the members are belong to here, 
FRB, CFR, and they're all working together. They are the major decision makers over our daily lives. And going against the evangelical Christian groups, going against our Christian teachings, and pursuing toward the second coming of Jesus, without knowing themselves, they are acting toward the second coming of Jesus. So you just read all their materials in your website, okay? And number four group, you know the IMF, okay? International Monetary Fund, IMF. So IMF money governed by these three, this, this one, two, three people. So these people handling IMF, they have money. Not only IMF, there's a World Bank, which is the next. A different system, but their purpose, objectives are the same. World Bank, IMF, World Banks, handling entire flow of the money in this world. Okay? Now, number six is the World Trade Organizations, WTO. You are familiar with that terminology. World Trade Organizations. All these people are all under uh, this Illuminati power. That's why Trumpet, President Trumpet, who are against these groups. So these groups, what we call the globalist. Have you heard that? Globalist. That means globalist means they wanna establish one world government. Okay, that global. They call we call them globalist to fulfill what? To fulfill new world order. That means. They want to have this, uh, this planet Earth utopia of their own, under their control. That's their vision. They want to reduce the population and recreating this world under their leadership and control, utopia, by eliminating all so-called evangelical Christianity and denying Jesus and creating religious pluralism, so-called one religion, one government, one economy, okay? They're worshiping their own God, which I'm tell, I'll tell you next time. So they mobilized these 10 power groups. Mobilized, 10 power groups. Most of them are monetary controlling power. Money, mammonism. Money, out of money, you can control everything, everybody. So World Trade Organization, that's why President Trump he said, we want to get out of this WTO. Okay? Now, he condemned the IMF, World Banks. We want to get out of the American government. We'll pull out of, that, of those, you know, Illuminati groups. So, last week's American presidential election was a fighting between pro Illuminati groups and anti Illuminati groups. Now, who is going to who is going to win? Pro Illuminati groups 
according to biblical references, biblical prophecies. However, these Illuminati groups eventually will be demolished. Eventually. That we will study later. Okay. Until such time, right before the second coming of Jesus, these power, these dirty powers will be prevailing, controlling all of the world. However, later, God's power will come, interfere, and destroy them. He will do that. Here, also, you know, United Nations. That's a strong Illuminati supporters. United Nations. United Nations are not pro-Christian groups. Okay, they are pro-Illuminati and Freemason and pro-Vatican. In other words, pro-two-beast group. United Nations. Now, number eight is another powerful group here. Media, all television stations, all mass media, newspapers. You see in Trump election this time, about 40 me major medias, newspapers and televisions were against Trump. He was a very lonely man. Even here in Korea, you see even other countries. Who are supporting these people here? Chinese Communist Party supporting financially and morally, personally. Even Korean election last April, Chinese Communist Party under the their influence here interfered Korean elections. It's been proven. Not only Korean, your countries as well. Around the world today, okay, whether you like it or not, your country's political leaders, financial leaders, educational leaders, social leaders, ought to be under their control one way or another. Otherwise, they cannot keep the position. That's a world trend. Now, mass media, part of the Illuminati groups, almost, almost everything, because of their power, financial power, political power, and social power, they cannot avoid Nothing but following them. Here, screen power, what is it? Hollywood, movies, and all website, and Google, and Facebook, and you name it. You name it. All are under their controls. Screen, Hollywood stars, movie stars, around the world. And you see sports. Professional sports, professional baseball in America, professional footballs, professional uh, soccers in in UK and Europe, Spain, Italy, you know all those money making, okay, powerful, popular sports industries, all are under the control of. Illuminati and Freemason. Without their support here, previous money power, financial powers, sports industry cannot survive. Sports industry supported by screen power, mass media powers, okay, they could raise up their money. Sports stars making billion dollars while majority Christians, majority peoples at starvation. That was their intention. The one star, sports star can influence wrongly majority 
people. One man can influence. Now, number nine, as you will be aware of this power of the stock exchange, stock market, okay? Stock market is a crucial for financial security. Once a stock market collapses, then world industries will collapse accordingly. The stock market is under the direct hands of Illuminati group, Freemason group. Number 10 is information technology industry, IT industry. Korea is very strong in IT industry, but cannot survive by Korean themselves. Always this Illuminati group, Freemason groups are deeply indirect way and direct way involved in. So I assume these 10 political financial powers are more than 10 horns, okay, 10 horns within Illuminati and Freemason. So Illuminati and Freemason that I said, first beast and first antichrist, okay? How many heads? Seven heads. Heads means ideology. Remember the previous I gave you seven ideologists? The last one was what? Atheistic communism. They are all part of this here Illuminati group. Okay? Now, not only seven heads, ten horns, ten powers, ten horns. Those who, what are ten horns? These are ten horns under the control of Illuminati. Isn't it clear? I'm saying ten horns, these ten world economic groupings, they are also minor power, okay, as opposed to the major ten powers. So now, Bible prophecy is very clear. Okay, now it's now fulfilling in our daily lives here. We are in the middle of that prophecy fulfilling period. So we are very much sure that second coming of Jesus is in our eyesight. In our eyesight. Therefore, what shall we do? We have to share the gospel. We have to teach these mysteries and share the gospel and cry out that Jesus is coming soon. That is your responsibility. Not just the teaching this mentally or informational sake, but you should go further than that. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. I will continue next hour as well.